What is up everyone? My name is Cody. I'm going to video for you guys today. This video is an OBS tutorial on how to run a stream setup. It's a pretty advanced stream setup, uh, definitely compared to the last video that I made. Uh, I've been linking the same video over and over again. If you guys have been in my streams, if you guys have been on my Twitter, um, if anybody asked me how to use OBS, I linked this video because it was just so easy to use. I got really into depth and it was a really easy way to set up your stream. And it's going to be the same idea in this video as well, but it's going to go just a little bit further. Uh, so if you guys didn't know, I've upgraded my stream setup extremely heavily. I've, I've streamed it heavily. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I've improved my stream setup. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more screen regions, stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth on how to do um, basically the stream setup that you see me run. So um, here's OBS right here, as you guys know, if you guys watch this video. I hope you know what OBS looks like. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, just run through the settings really quick and then we'll go into screen regions and stuff like that. Um, so let's go into the settings. If you guys didn't know, I use an Avermedia Live Gamer HD. In my old video, I used a Elgato. Um, I will let you know the differences in between those. So if you have an Avermedia or if you have an Elgato, uh, you should be able to follow this, uh, this tutorial with no problems. Okay, so uh, this is all just basic encoding. Um, I use a 2500 bitrate. Um, I use CBR, but I also enable uh, CBR padding, which allows um, if your internet starts to go down a little bit, um, really quick side note, if you guys didn't know, I have about a five upload speed. Uh, you want to adjust your bitrate bit rate right here um, in according to you know what your your upload speed is. If you are not partnered with Twitch, you shouldn't go above a 3,000 because other people have issues um, downloading more than 3,000 uh, kilobytes per second. So um, I enable padding so that... Um, if I start to lag a little bit, it's not going to drop frames. It's not going to be stuck at 2,500. Uh, but instead, it's going to go up above 2,500. And it's also going to go under 2,500 and cause a little bit of graininess rather than dropping frames. Sorry, I'm, I'm out of breath because I'm talking extremely fast. I haven't made a tutorial like this in a little bit. So I'm a little bit out of season. Um, but yeah, just basically copy these down right here. Um, if you are trying to stream and uh, you have like a two up, Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do that. Uh, you want to have at least like a three or a four to stream Call of Duty and play it. Uh, five is is the like I'm good to go. Like five is what I have and it works. It's fine. Um, obviously, I'd rather have like a ten or a twenty, but you know I don't. So there's that. <laughs> Let's go down to uh, broadcast settings. Okay, so mode obviously live stream. Uh, if you're trying to record something, you're going to file input, but we're just going to be uh, we're going to be going to live stream streaming service Twitch Justin TV. You know if you're doing whatever else that's fine too um, oh there goes my stream key I'm going to have to go fix this uh, then you want to just select the closest server to you uh, sometimes some servers have issues and then you want to switch to the next closest uh, but I'm just gonna do New York that's the closest one to me uh, your stream key I believe you can go into your dashboard on twitch and find this um, it's not that hard to find you can google it if you need any more help um, auto reconnect that's just if uh, if you get disconnected it'll just put it right back on uh, after 10 seconds uh, delay. This is uh, if you're playing GBs. I do a 15 because I try to interact with chat. Um, if you're playing a tournament or something, you know, 30, 45 seconds might be a little bit better. Um, there's a 5 to 20 second delay from uh, from your computer to uh, Twitch to the other user. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit more than 15. My stream usually ranges from uh, about a 20 second delay to about a 45 second delay, depending on where you are. Um, right here is a thing that I use that not a lot of people actually use. Um, click save to file and then uh, if you have a lot of room on your hard drive, a lot of room on an external hard drive, uh, you can do a file path right here and, uh, and save it to wherever. Mine just saves to my desktop so that uh, if I get a good clip, I can go back, open it up, open it in Sony Vegas and uh, go ahead and uh, clip it out from there instead of ripping it off of uh, the online file. Okay, let's go into video right here. Um, here's my video adapter, it's just your, uh, your video card. Uh, your resolution is going to be 1280 by 720 because that is, uh, that's the basic 1080, no, sorry, 720p right there. Um, unless you have insane specs, uh, insane internet, you're not going to be wanting to stream at 1080p. You're also going to want to be partnered if you're streaming at 1080p. Um, but I am, I do not have a good enough computer to handle 1080p, so 720p it is. Uh, no downscale because it's already in 720p. Uh, FPS 30. You can try to do 60 if you have a really good computer. Um, but like I said, uh, it, it is really, really intensive. And unless you have a computer specifically built uh, for streaming, and it like you put a good amount of money into it, you're probably not going to want to do that. Uh, you also want to do disable arrow. Arrow. Sorry. Um, if you guys are doing uh, screen regions and stuff like that, make sure you have disable arrow turned on. Okay. Mm We're gonna go down to audio now. Um, desktop audio device is going to be on default that allows you to uh, to play stuff right on your desktop such as music 
um, notification pop-ups, stuff like that. Uh, anything that's played to your desktop will get picked up if you leave it on default. Um, microphone or auxiliary, I use a Blue Yeti. Um, if you are using your uh, Astro mic, just plug your mix amp in your computer, and then you're going to want to turn this uh, right on that mic. Or, I mean, if you want to use your webcam mic, if you want to use your Yeti mic, if you want to use your Astro mic, you know, whatever it is, just click that, uh, and you should be good there. Um, if you are using an Elgato that needs a delay, which um, most Elgatos are about a 1500 millisecond delay. Um, and by that, I mean, if, you, if you're having problems where, like, you're saying you're calling something out before it happens on the screen, this is where you're going to want to go. This will add a delay on just your mic so that it will slow it down to match up with your audio or to match up with your gameplay and your voice. Um, you know, if you're on an Elgato, you're going to have about a 1500 millisecond delay right here. If not, if you have an Avermedia, it's completely seamline, um, seamless, whatever, I don't know. And uh, you're going to have a zero. I'm breathing heavy over here. I apologize for my fatness. Right here, uh, just copy all these down. Um, I cannot tell you what every single thing in here means, um, but I can just tell you that this works for me. I've toyed around with stuff, and this has been the best uh, best fit for me, least uh, graphics intensive, least CPU pulling, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what I'm saying, but just copy this down, and you should be good to go. If you have any issues, feel free to uh, to tweet at me and complain about them, and that's, uh, that's fine. Twitter.com slash I'm Cody with two Ys. All these can just stay the same. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go into it. Um, let me do a preview stream preview screen really quick uh, here is what one of my streams looks like um, you're gonna see stuff pop up this is where my normal screen regions are um, so the thing you're not seeing is Avermedia it's because I don't have my Xbox turned on let me just nah, I'm just gonna leave it off um, you have that turned on let me just go ahead and open up my properties for the Avermedia now here is all my settings for my Avermedia uh, you're gonna be wanting it, uh, 30 frames a second this is basically gonna be the same settings that you ran um, on your encoding tab so uh, Avermedia uh, you can go in and configure it, do your colors, anything that you want to adjust in there. Um, if you have an Elgato, you might need to adjust your uh, your time offset right here. Uh, fortunately, with the Avermedia, you don't need to do that. Um, so just go ahead and use device audio. Um, audio, shoot. Output audio to stream only. And you want to select that because if you do it to desktop, you're going to have a lot of echoing. And I'm, I'm sure you probably do not want that. Uh, so that's all good. Tweet. This is my tweet deck right here. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling up um, all of my screen regions so you guys can get an idea of what my desktop looks like while I'm streaming. Uh, so this is actually usually over on my other screen over here. So I'm going to just leave it over there for a second. Um, let me go ahead and pull up my tweet deck. There's my tweet deck right there. Um, let me pull them both up right here so I can show you this again. Okay, so let me open up my tweet deck. Here's what this looks like. Select region. And uh, we're just going to select as much as you can right there. Uh, basically, you know, this is all just overkill. We don't need to have all this extra room down here because uh, it only fills up this much right here. So you just select the screen region right there. And then uh, that is going to make your tweet go down right there. You want it to be under the overlay. If you guys see, um, sorry, I'm a little disorganized here, but my overlay is right here. Uh, so you want your overlay to be pretty close to the top, um, over top of anything that it needs to be covering. Um, so you obviously want your tweet under there, unless you want it to look all sloppy, which, I mean, tweets their own, I guess. Um, okay, so tweet is now covered. You guys know how to do tweets. Um, CLR browser, that is a, uh, that's a sub pop-up. If you guys are partnered on Twitch, I'm sure you guys already know how to do this. Um, but it's just a basic pop-up that you get. Um, I can, no, I'm not even going to run it right now. Uh, if you just go to nightdev.com, it'll teach you how to set it up on there. Um, but yeah, so followers right here. This is the follower pop-up that comes right down here. Um, let me go ahead and pull that up on the screen now. Um, sorry, you guys are going to see a bunch of different weird screen regions. Tweet, poach. Okay, so followers is the next screen region that we're going to be using. Here is my follower pop-up. Um, if you guys didn't know, this is on T-Notifier. If you guys don't know anything about pop-ups, you don't know how to do donation pop-ups, follow pop-ups, anything like that, it's something you're going to want to learn how to do because it really helps the growth of your channel. Um, you know, whether it was directly tied to it or not, um, as soon as I started doing follower, donation, uh, all those pop-ups, my stream really started to grow, like insane amounts. Um, it, it went absolutely insane, and uh, and that is... I consider that a great contribution to my stream growth. So what you're going to do, you're going to want to go into T Notifier, learn how to do that. Okay, I'm not, this is not the tutorial to teach you how to do uh, T Notifier. This is a uh, tutorial on how to show you how to put it all together. So if you don't know how to use T Notifier, I'm going to pause this video right now. 
I want you to go and type in T Notifier, how to set it up, blah blah blah. And you'll find how to make graphics, how to, you know, how to put it into your stream, stuff like that. And oh look, we just got a follower right there. Why is it not showing up though? Well that's stupid. I broke it. Guys, I broke it. Oh, because I'm over top of it. Okay, or not. I actually just broke it. Stream, why'd you break? Stream, why are you broken? What the freaking freaking freak? Alright, I actually just broke it, so I have no clue. Um, okay. But uh, you're going to want to set that up. You're going to screen region right here. I, it's actually not working right now, so I'm not sure why. Um, it's probably some easy fix, but uh, you're going to set a screen region right there. You want to chroma key out this color right here um, because so it doesn't show up at all times. And then, uh, and then as soon as it comes through, yeah, we need to fix this. Hang on, let me figure it out really quick, guys. It should just be just a second. There it goes. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I had something over top of it. Okay. So, and then uh, I uh, I just selected the screen region, put it right down here, and then as soon as uh, as soon as a follower comes through, it's gonna send one and it's gonna come right on down. Um, so as you see, you know, it's it's always capturing it. You just gotta chroma key out the f the first part. So, uh, let's go ahead and go into the donation pop up next. That's gonna be the next one. Uh, that's this right here. It's actually gonna take a second because of. Uh, because of T Notifier not being ready, donation. See, as you see there, it pops up right there, um, just like, just like it would normally. But it's not chroma keyed out because it's a different color of green. Uh, so let's hide that until just a little bit further. Donation down. Okay. Jeez, so everything goes. I knew this would be crazy. Okay, so <clears throat> as you guys see there, um, that is how to do the follower pop up, the donation pop up. It was all just right there, um, as well as the overlay and the tweets. Um, so, yeah, the overlay is right there. The Twitter goes in there. Um, the Spotify is also just right there. Um, I just pulled it from my other screen. It's it's hard to see from here. Um, but you just you know select a screen region, match the same color. Um, it's honestly pretty pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. But, um, you know, as you guys are watching me, I'm sure it looks a little bit confusing. Um, I would show you guys the camera, but it's, it's being used right now. Uh, it was probably not a very good idea by me. Let me see if I can uh, see if I can do this really quick. Video capture, yeah, it's not gonna work. Um, but you're gonna go, you're gonna put your webcam down there, and if you if you want to chroma key it out, I've got a video on how to do that. But you're just gonna go ahead and click chroma key, uh, click the color that you want to do, and then uh, oh shoot, oh shoot, did I break it? I think I broke it. Now everything's going crazy, of course. Um, but you're going to chroma key, and then you're going to do similarity, and you're going to do your blend, and uh, and that's going to put everything all together for you. Um, so I'm sorry if this if this video was a little bit dodgy, a little bit skippy. Uh, actually, my my donation is up. So if you guys want to see that, we'll go ahead and, and show that up there. This is all crazy. Oh, of course it doesn't even show up. Mm. Donation. There it is. See right there. All right, so that is how to do all of those pop-ups. Um, I hope that it helps you guys out. I hope that uh, you can create a very successful stream, and I hope that uh, you know it it promotes the growth in uh, in donations, promotes uh, followers, promotes tweets, everything like that. Uh, I think that it really is the best thing to do. So many people are like, "Hey, why do you have your?" your Twitter on your screen nobody wants to see your tweets Cody uh, but honestly I gained so many followers I gained so many tweets so many you know people just uh, interacting with me on a bunch of different uh, platforms and it really is the best way to go because uh, if you guys have been on Twitch before you know it's really easy to gain Twitch followers while you're streaming uh, but it's so hard to get those followers to go and follow you on other stuff and, and the followers that do leave the website and go follow you on YouTube, follow you on Twitch, follow you on Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is. Uh, those are the followers that are going to be helping you out the most because those are the ones that are going to be, you know, sharing your tweets, sharing your your Facebook, everything like that. Um, so you really want to try to interact and uh, shoot, what's the word? And engage your audience in every single different platform. So I uh, hope that I can help you guys out. I know this is a very long video. I hope that. Um, 
I know that it, it was kind of dodgy because it's really hard to uh, to do my screen regions and record a video at the same time because it just takes up so much space. Uh, but I hope you guys understand. Uh, it's best to have two monitors, one with uh, one that you're actually looking at and doing stuff on, and the other one just to throw screen regions on and, and not look at again. Uh, so like I said, um, I hope that this helped you out. If it didn't, uh, feel free to tweet at me. Feel free to comment at me. I hope it hope it covered everything. Um, if it didn't, just go back and you know pause and, and just try to line up everything perfect. Um, if you have all your settings exactly the same as mine, I don't see how you could have any issues. Um, like I said, um, if you're using an Elgato and you want to use uh, your if you want to get all everything in sync, uh, that is more of a uh, you know just stream and and try everything out, try different numbers out until you get it completely right. Um, if you want to try my settings, I have it on my last video. I'll put that link in the description as well. Um, but until next time, I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you out. And uh, if it did, go ahead and leave a like below. But uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.